Welcome back guys and thank you for joining me in another episode here in Satisfactory. This will be episode 22 by the way. Uh, remember in the last one these guys didn't didn't add screws in here? Well I fixed that. I put in here a truck making 240 screws. So now it's not related with the production of screws from underneath which was relying on the steel. Uh, sorry, on the iron. Uh, left those constructors making screws in there, make the sink belt mark. So it should be fine. I'm not gonna stay to calculate exactly how many screws we need for all those rollers in there. But it is always. the plan is to advance the pressure conversion production. So we need to make those. We need to make those happen. Of course, in here I want to have five. Okay, let's let's not forget that it's gotta be five. Okay, so we're gonna need ten radio control units per minute. It's actually written in here. So we're gonna need 10 of those. That means I gotta produce 106 casings. Actually, it's even more. Because these guys, at this point, they make it two and two. And we need to make one of them make three. Okay? So that's another 50 casings in there. So it's 160, 50, 210. In order to do that, we're gonna go to the aluminum factory and we're gonna put down another production line, I said, another factory, if we will, which will make this amazing casings for us. And they're gonna be delivered in here with the same uh, logistic uh, Majigi train, one at the same, because uh, logistics sound a bit uh, better, but uh, it didn't came out right, so with the same train. Yeah, well, I put in the right in here what I think that we're gonna need. I don't know if it's gonna be good enough or not. Let me just start this much again. You see? Something like that. So, three refineries, two water extractors, one minor mark two because coal, we gotta grab it. Smelters, assemblers, I don't even know what else. I mean, I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe I'm not. We will have to upgrade our copper miner in there to Mark III. Apparently that one I didn't put it on. But I have some fuse module frames, supercomputers, and I don't remember what it takes in the dimensional depot, so we should be fine with that. Yeah, well, we'll see. I'll see you guys in there. So we made it in here. I seem to remember making the calculations backwards and we needed exactly another 240 bauxite in 120 coal. I have a lift in here which is empty, not gonna get that up. That could be our coal and uh, we need the bauxite. So bauxite, it's that node that we got in there which is overclocked but uh, no, I don't think it's overclocked. And we got another pure node over here somewhere. Yeah, up there. Um. Not enough space in here, how, how you can well see. So we're gonna need to have about the same setup. I don't know what I written in here, only three refineries, when it's obvious that you need more than three. Maybe different recipes? No. Well, what did I calculate it? I have no idea. But it's fine, you know, it's fine. Let's... This is the sinking process. We're gonna need to expand this one a little more. Have a little more limestone in here. Yeah, because we will have to double basically those three. This is gonna be mirror this one. This three, this three, all of this mess in here. And uh, basically that mess as well. Well, that one takes care of the excess water from the berry but we, we're not gonna do that. Nevertheless, I feel like we're gonna need another two or three of these guys. So it's actually something like nine, not three. Let's hope we're gonna have enough materials. Between my inventory and the dimensional depot, I think we're gonna be fine. Um, That way, I believe. Right? Or because not enough space. Well, my bauxite, I believe, um, let's go and see that note. 
this is the first question, you know. Like, can I put this one to make for 8 mystery? Because if I can't, I have a splitter in there and that would be just amazing, you know, go that way with it. Oh, the memory search is complete. Go that way with it, and I don't know, put it somewhere in there, go that way with it. But if I will not be able to upgrade this one, well, we gotta grab the other boy which is up there somewhere. It's a mark two, making 520. 40 more for those um, berries. Well, can I make? Oh shit, I don't have supercomputers. Um, I need three supercomputers in my life. I wonder if I can make me. I didn't talk about it. Sorry guys, I'm prepared. Uh, supercomputer. Wow, forget I said anything. We get. We get stuff online. <laughs> okay. So. I don't know if. Will be able to do it. I oh, thanks. So, at this point, this boy is pushing 520. So, oh, wait. I'm using 480 down there. Well, why aren't you saying so? Um, so, if I need 240, that's 760. Well, we could transport that one. Should I upgrade this one or grab the other one? I feel like it's gonna be so much easier with this one in here. I would like to use this one, drop it down there, just split it, take the excess, excess from that belt and go that way with it, and not take advantage. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna look that, boys and girls. So we said 760 you gotta put this mister. You can grab those, thank you. 760, here we go. Give me that back. Gracias. Um let's keep that one. So at this point, we have down there somewhere. 240 bucks in. Okay. Now let's take care of the coal. Now this is the limestone, I feel like we're gonna have to upgrade that one as well, but I don't know how much. Um, not gonna bring the coal down there, so I'm gonna delete this lift, I'm gonna delete it down there as well. Let me just delete the lift and the far hall in there. Come on, we can do this. Perfect. And this is that belt that is bringing the coal, so let me follow it back to where the coal is. I don't remember what it is. And um, I don't know. Try and upgrade that one as well. Let's see how much we produce. We need another one. one. I got this guy sitting back in here. That one looks pretty full. Fast man. Good thing it's Mark V. Um, that one comes from underneath. Okay. Let's try and remember that. From there. Uh, I think I'm gonna fall, so... Three sixty. So we need 120 more. Done. Mark 5, Mark 5. Well, we should have paid together here. Life. What do you think about this mess? He's coming for me. Oh my god, Marsh. Come on. Oh no. Where is he? Finally, he's down. Goddamn monster. Anyway, we deleted the upper lift for the call. Let's delete this one as well because it will never be used. 
so our code is coming on that mark 5 in here going that way to the berries no to the station which is bringing sulfur from that side and the rest is being consumed here now we're gonna take a belt from here and go that way with it, I believe because we gotta take a belt for that as well or come it through the back in here oh let's bring them both to the back in here yeah I've, I feel like doing that okay so we can go that way with it the issue is that one gotta stay in place in there just to use more of this space in here for more of these refineries which I'm gonna make this thing okay I mean with concrete sink it so I'm just gonna do this I think two more of those should be enough so this should end in here we'll come with our belt through here so from here on we can safely build and we gotta clear this place so basically we're gonna build from this place forward let me bring some power in here because I like my floating Flying. Okay, uh, we do we have space in here for free? one, two, frame? Yeah, we do. Perfect. Now, um, basically, we're gonna have to copy what's in there. So we're gonna need two of those with one of two or those, and then all that matters. And we gotta use that sink just to sink the excess from that line. from that line yeah I feel like that okay let's go so I'm gonna put um I don't even know let's see in there the coal is gonna go on the outside because it's gonna be used on the next stuff not in here um is it good in here is it gonna be in the way I feel like it's gonna be in the way gotta push him forward Let's start from there with them. Okay. So these boys are gonna make sloppy. Okay. We need to take care of 240 boxes. So each one of them is gonna make 120. That's a hundred box side. No. Oh, it's a different rate. 140? Five? Um well. So 200, that's 50, let's try 60%. Um, percent. Yeah, 60%. Copy, paste. Good stuff. Now we gotta split that box in here. Uh, let's mark fives. Because we want it to move real fast in here. because it was yeah it was too close to that spin um we need two of those water extractors in here for it let's put the process first the point wait a hundred point 240 so mark one fight should be more than enough okay let's make this guess happen here uh one let's see two in there come on can do this 120 each perfect 120 each we're gonna have 288 alumina solution Let's see what we can do with that.
Uh, not that. This one. Or that one. The one with coal. Coal. 28. Should we use one? What the? Because uh, we're really close. Let's put two. Okay, some pipes. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough place for the coal, but that's a totally different story. Aluminum scrap. Aluminum scrap. Okay. We need in here 144 at the entrance. In here. So, what's the rate? It looks like it's multiplied with 1.5. Five. We said 144. We need 216 on each. Perfect. That's 72 and another 72 call. 144. Only that? One forty four. Well I feel like I've upgraded that one only with 120, so gonna have to modify that one a little. Okay. So I've put 240 go on that. Well wow. yeah but actually we need this one. So we will be producing a lot more coal than needed. Because a total of two full refineries I think so. Well, anyhow, uh, power. Good stuff. No, I think it's wrong. I think it's wrong because it's seventy two multiply with two. It's 144 and I upgraded that one at one point. I think so. Let me see how much coal we are using here. So 120, 120, 48. Plus 240, plus 48, plus whatever we need in this transport. Uh, 9 per minute so we need at least 441 let me get back in there and see exactly how much coal I have in that miner and we'll be back I was covering for 8 for for 5 days okay time to get back okay made it back in here uh, we are covered with the coal and with that much again. We're making two times 216 aluminum scrap. That's 432. Uh, we gotta divide that by 30. So we need 14.4 smelters. Uh, can I transport that on a Mark 1 belt? The answer is yes. Okay, 432. So I don't have to make it hard on myself. And um, I think I would like to go that way with it. How about the excess water? We need to sink that. Let's take care of that first. So, 72 times 2, 144. Can we appeal to 144? Um, 25. So, 144 plus 25, 169 in here. 100. So this one will have to be 200 and put another one of this in here, which is gonna eat 69 water. Okay, here. So let's make it here, I don't know, 60. I think that's good. We're gonna leave it like that just to be sure that we can sink everything okay let's do the same setup here 
for this place. Good. And here we're gonna have our oh, oh. uh let's take care of the limestone that we're gonna need here. Because we're gonna need oops, we're gonna need a bunch more of that for sure. Um, limestone, we said. 120, 120, 120, 480 plus 90, 570. That is a mark 5. 570. That is a mark 5. Amazing. Okay, so 240, 570. 570 minus 40, 340. Um, mark 2, mark 2. 340. Oh, 300. And 270 on you. An excess of 5 just to slip easily. Time. So it's 300. Mark 4, mark 4, mark 4. All of that is mark 5. We should be good. Let's go back. Good stuff. Okay, so we had in here how much? Two and six multiply two divided by friend. We need fifteen smelters. Well, uh, I feel like I need a little more space in there. And another eight. That's sixteen. Gonna delete this boy, for example. And I'll leave that one in place. So everything beneath should be marked five in here. Let me delete this little one. Good. Everything up top. Plus power. Everything up top should be marked 5. Let's connect the power to all of them. That way I will not lose power. Good. So, minus. 40 multiplied with 30. The last one's gotta take only 12. In here. Let's put the recipe in the bowl. Perfect. You gotta take only 12. So divide by 5. That means 6 in it. Perfect. Uh, you can have that. Thank you. Um. How much are you making? 30 per minute. Hmm. Okay, so. Did I make it right? Yeah. No, I didn't make it right. Because it's 14, 6. Shit. So. Uh, no, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Because it's taking 6 each. Okay, so. Divide by 60, I need only 8 smelters, 7.2. So, guess what I'm gonna do? Uh, F, blueprint, by now, is gonna keep the balance that I upgraded. It's fine. So, you got 7 in here, minus. 7 multiplied by 60. This one's gotta take don't yeah. So the same stuff. Perfect. You grab that. I said you grab. Grab that. Grab those. You grab those. Uh, sorry, all of them. If possible. Thank you. Much appreciated. I don't wanna leave my adventure. Thank you. I know you're getting filled up, but. 
five. Okay, so we should produce only half of this, so only two hundred sixteen. Let's see, thirty seven multiplied with thirty. That's twenty one. Six two hundred sixteen. Okay, uh, let's let me delete this list because it bothers me here. Okay, let's see assemblers. We want casings. 150. Well, so simple, it's only two of them. Uh, similar. One in here. We have to bring the copper. Let's not forget about that. Yep. One in here. One in there. Delete all that madness in there because it ain't gonna be necessary. Done. Uh, split. Uh, let's put it the second line because it's gonna be easier to bring in the copper. First up, we have the aluminum in the scrap casing. Casing. We need 216. So, divide by 2, that's 108. In here. Uh, that, that, that's gonna be really interesting. Uh, 100? Less. Let's play with this one. Seventy two percent. Paste, please. One oh eight. Perfect. Uh, that means we're gonna need a hundred eight copper ingots. This one. <laughs> Amazing. Is it good? What I'm doing? I feel like it's good. <clears throat> okay. One oh eight copper ingots coming up. One oh eight. That means four of this. Because four, it's one twenty. Where is my copper line in here? I feel like it's going in here. Yeah. Those guys are gonna station in there. What am I? Ah, they're moving and grouping. It's fine. You can know I said that. Hmm. Is the Mark Five? No, it's a Mark. Good stuff. Uh, yep, through there. Give me a splitter, please. Perfect. Gonna go with the Mark Three for one o eight. We said, yeah, Mark Two should be enough. But you know me already. Let's jump through here. It could go under this one, but let's just try and make it pretty. Okay, start in this place. Uh, we can have our smelters in here. How many did we send? 108, 50, 60, 19, 108. So this one's gonna take only 18 in here. Thank you, Dons. Thank you. That's gonna give me my 108 that I want. Mark 2 should be enough, but we're gonna make a mark for it. This stuff, we're gonna have the copper, and after that, we're gonna have to collect our majigas out of here and send them away. Uh, let me delete that. Wait, in there. Amazing, we figured out the exit. Now, uh, let's see how much copper do I have to plug in that boy in there. Because I, I forgot 108, 30, 60, 90, 108. 
Okay, let me make my way copper pretty far. And uh, be right back. Okay, so this boy is making 205. 108. Plus 205. I need him to do something like 350. Let's make it 320. Um, so what the build is that? Mark 3. Oh. That ain't gonna cut it. It's gonna have to be Mark 4 or Mark 5. Um, since I don't have enough Mark 4 materials, I'm gonna go for a Mark 5 belt in here and make my way back in there. See you guys back in there. Got it. It's a Mark 5 under here. I should that Mark 3 it's enough BNG because I got a feeling it's not. Uh, two, four, six, seven, two hundred ten max. Yeah, it's enough. Okay, good stuff. So we have the copper coming in real fast on that mark five. I think we can save the uh start this web as long as we give that boy some of that amazing stuff and put some power in it we should be fine come on are you filled up yes okay we'll wait for this boy to be filled up here come on perfect he started producing This way it's working, or not. It's making some alumina solution. I don't understand where it's going. Oh, the water is getting released. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, we're making some scrap in here. Of course, everything is black. Okay. Those are not exactly well connected. The edge. What has it done in there? Jesus Christ. Let's um, clear out this belt. Grab, oh uh, wait, there is more in that guy. Grab everything that is on that guy. And on that guy, perfect. And now replace this belt here. Put a lift in here. And put the ingots, not the scrap. Okay? <laughs> Let's not forget about that. Okay, uh, gotta bring the power so that these boys can get filled up with ingots. Uh, maybe recipe for you? Copy ingots. Aluminum ingots. Well, why aren't you taking those? Did you have the little magic in there? I feel so. Yep, now here we go. That one is good, that one is good. I think we can safely start the copper. Because that mark belt for sure did the thing until now. Mark 3, perfect. That one coming in there, it's a mark 3, a mark 5, so it's splitting it to mark 3. That one is filled up as expected. This one in here. We started grooving, moving, doing fun stuff. It will get balanced at some point. By this time that miner should be full and all that Mark 5 belt uh, mark yeah Mark 5 belt should be filled up, which is what I always wanted because that will be enough to fill all of these guys faster than we are using them. That gets already filled up. It's normal because it's only taking 18. So this one gets half of the belt. These two guys, a quarter and a quarter, the other half. Okay. Nevertheless, we have enough. We're going 100% here. 
uh, we're producing all the copper ingots we're making those casings already uh, filled up with aluminum ingots but it is what it is they're gonna declug at some point maybe so we just made the hemp one we have 162 more casings now are they gonna be enough i don't remember i think by my calculations they should be enough but i decided not to start those three guys to make sheets because i don't need those sheets those three are gonna be enough and um well actually i think it would be better just to do some yeah it will be better sorry I'm gonna leave that one in there that one is no longer needed and uh, start them up just like they used to be because i got a feeling in tier 9 we're gonna use a lot more machines okay so uh 101.5 multiply 2 plus 162 percent why isn't that one Are you serious? Are you filled up? Oh no, you're, you're not. <laughs> 1,200. Oh my god, it's not. Okay. Uh, it was 81 and 81, right? I don't remember, sorry. Yep. 162. So we're making 365 casings. Let's go back to the base and see what we can do with those. How much we're consuming and how much we will use out of them. That box is filled up really good in there, which makes me kind of happy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take care of that line in a second. I'm curious how much we're using. I feel like 32 is the right answer. Jesus Christ. I can't believe I remember that. Uh, minus 32 in here, minus 20 other berries. We can do with 313 of these boys. Now, this guy is making two. She's my reference from it. They're coming from that way. Okay. Or did that guy have the screws? I see that way. Lacking. I mean, we're making way too many. I suspect it because we're making more in there. So, guess what? We're going to put this one on free that's why we had that shard in there i still got free okay um so now we kind of covered we're making the five okay we're making the five modular frames that means in here we have 150 assumption in here 100 that's 250 we have an excess of 63 what can we do those? Can we do something? We kind of need 160. And I forget how much we were making here. So, uh, 150 and another 100, 250. So, minus 250. We have 63. That ain't gonna be enough for our ready control. Shoot! What about four? Uh, how many did I need it? I feel like I needed 10 ready control units, isn't it? Fuse modular frames. We're gonna need 5 per minute. So those are properly set to make 5. Yes, they are. Okay. What uh, am I using this casing? Is? Yeah. Exactly, because I don't remember. Oh, exactly, ready control units. Well, I seem to put in here this one to make one so we're consuming both of them just we have two turbo modes but we're not using them on anything I don't know uh, let's make only 0 0.5 in here because we have the summer slot so we're gonna make only one that means we need only one radio control unit per minute and let's see if we can balance it like that. 
I'm gonna make only one in here using less computers, less crystal oscillators. 16 more of those, so I just won. 16. I got 79. Will it be enough? Not here. In here. 79. I need 80 in my life. I need one more. Shoot! I think it's gonna be enough one more for the time being with what we have in this box I'm gonna go back in there between episodes and uh, shut down one of those assemblers that is the sheets and make it do free whatever casings but that is gonna give me the necessary casings for my 5 3d control unit and we're gonna plop a couple of summer slips in here and we're gonna have our thin magic happen uh now we're gonna need five computers i don't think we got them it's possible to have the 2.5 crystal oscillators nevertheless let's see about those so in here we're using something like 0.5 in here we're using 2.5 so we're using 3 how many are we? we're making 4 it ain't that much so I have an excess of 1 and I need 2.5 ok let's call it good computers 5 We are making four, and we are consuming. Uh, that one goes in here, I believe. We're consuming one. Three. So we're consuming three computers. So we are making four. So I could summon the all. And make it happen with what we have in here and that will give me the possibility to make so we're consuming free if I make eight I have an excess of five that will be enough I think I think if I put some slips on yes the same thing goes for the crystal acids. But do I really want to do that? I don't feel like I want to do that. I feel like I want to put another production line in here because I seem to remember having a bunch of plastic that we're not using. Uh, too much, I mean. And make another one of these. Making me whatever I need to hear with different recipes. So I think that's the way we will go. Forget this production lines. I don't like them anyway. We're gonna take care of things our way here. So we're gonna have two of these boys in here. One of them's gotta do five computers. Five five ten. Uh, we're gonna have two of them, but. You know, just to see the rates in here, what we need. And the other boy will have to make 2.5 crystal oscillators. Um, I like that one more. Yeah. 2.5, please. Good stuff. And that will give us the 10 radio control units that are gonna come in this way with 2 per minute, right? 10 per minute. Why 10 per minute? I need 2 per minute. Yeah, but I wanna make 5. That's why it's 10 per minute. Okay, good stuff. Uh, so, 
into the next one we're gonna figure out how to make all this happen if we have it around here if not some modifications will have to be made we don't have a problem with that we don't have a problem with that we do have a problem with those so we will have to build them those I think we gotta build them I'm not sure about those we might need to build them and the plastic already talked about it 80 plastic per minute we're making a lot more plastic now in there. <sighs> Still using some here, apparently. Going really, really slow in here. Which kind of throws off. Um, let me modify all the lines. To be Mark 5 in here, Fred. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. That way, it will transport really fast everywhere. Are you marked five? You are good. Are you marked five? You are. And now it's enough to look at the box, and you'll be able to see. Do we have enough? Or not? You know, just like that. Barely, barely enough. I mean, it's not going anywhere that fast. Um, this has been running for a while. So we could do with... Oh, we started consuming rubber, so... Oh, no. Make me a liar. Why not? Uh, we are consuming basically everything that we're producing. So if I put an 80 consumption on this, we might just run out of plastic. We might, but I'm not sure. This one never got filled. This one got filled, so the excess is synced. Might go in there and modify a couple of those refineries just to have a little more plastic. We'll think about it. Nevertheless, that will be to be assessed in the next episode. Uh, we're gonna have to make more of this, but I don't want to do them with plastic. Maybe we'll grab the plastic from these guys because apparently we're using 45 and another 30, that's 75. Guess what? Exactly. And we're gonna plug our circuit boards into that one, or even better, into that one. No, into that one, I said. Hmm. From the other side. Because I'm planning to use the other recipe, the one that is done with silica, and I don't remember what else. We're gonna take a peek right now. Because I unlocked the recipe. This one. We got a bunch of silica that we don't use. Um, how many did we need in here for the computers? 20 per minute. Something it is? Mm. No. Maybe something in the air limiter? Cut it out. No. 20. So, oh, sorry. Not you, boy. So, for 20 of this, we need 44 copper sheets and 44 silica. We get the silica. Copper sheets can be done in there. We have the line circulating right right through here. We can easily upgrade that boy. It ain't gonna be an issue. Uh, let's leave that one in place. The plastic we're gonna have it. The cable. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be an issue. That one is like fixed. Uh, first crystals got them. Rubber got them. Air limiters. We're gonna need 2.5 per minute. So it's half of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. We get everything like here. So I think we should we should start doing stuff, you know. We should start building. But of course this 
gonna be on in the next episode this one is kind of long guys thank you so much for being here for watching this if you like don't forget to leave a like to the, to the video and if by any chance you wanna support my dream of becoming the full-time content you can do that by grabbing a self anonymous membership thank you again for being here i'll see you in the next one take care of you all bye now